everyone so let's practice equal with this excellent equal problem from Bhagarang so we are given a company hierarchy which is shown here founder lead manager senior manager manager and employee and we are given some tables and we are supposed to write a SQL query to print the company code founder name total number of lead managers total number of senior managers total number of managers and total number of employees and the last we have to order our output by ascending company code so we are given that the table may contain duplicate records and uh, we are given five tables company table lead manager table uh, senior manager table and uh, manager table and the last the employee table and we are given the columns uh, that are uh, in each table so the company table has two columns the company code and the founder the lead manager table has again two columns lead manager code and company code senior manager table again has uh, three columns so these are the listed names of the columns uh, similarly for the manager table and for the employee table and these are the sample tables and this is the sample output so here this is the uh, company code this is the founder name this is the number of lead managers this is the number of senior managers and this is the number of uh, managers and this is the number of employees so this is how our out output should look like so let's begin writing the query so since we are given five tables so we are supposed to join all these tables in order to find the result so let's start joining the tables so the first table that we have is the company table company c uh, let's join this table uh, with the lead manager table lead manager l so i'm giving the alias to the company table as c and the lead manager table as l and i'll be joining this the inner join operation here on the company code so c dot company code company code is a common column in both the tables so c dot company code is equals to l dot company code now we will be joining another table which is senior manager table senior manager s so I'm giving uh, alias as S here on again we will be joining it on the company code since so we have the company code as the common column in both the tables. So C dot company code company code is equals to S dot company next we are supposed to join another table which is the manager table so manager i'm giving alias is m on again we can use we can uh, do the join operation on company code equal to m dot company code and the last we have the employee table so employee on again we can join on company code so this is the common column is equals to e dot company code so we are done with joining joining operation of the tables now we are supposed to write the column names that uh, we are supposed to that we want to extract so since we want to print the company code so the first of all company code c dot company code which is in the company table the second we have to print the founder name so founder name is also in the company table so c dot founder next we are supposed to find the total number of lead managers so to find the total number of lead managers we will be using lead manager code column so we will just apply the count function on lead manager code so we'll just count the uh, number of lead manager code and it will give us the total number of lead managers that we have but since 
the lead manager code can have duplicates. So in order to remove the duplicates, we will use distinct function, distinct of l dot lead manager code. Similarly, we want to find the number of senior manager code. So again, we will be using the count function on distinct of senior manager code. So s dot senior manager code. Next, we want to find the count of managers. So distinct of m dot manager code. So here we see manager code and the last we want to find the count of employees. So E dot employee code. Okay. So here we have the employee code. So this way we can find these counts. At the last we want to group by to the company code. Company code and founder founder name so the columns which are not aggregated so these two columns which are not aggregated we are putting them into the group by function now at the last we wanted to do order by to the company code so yes this is our query Let's run our query, our final query, and see the results. So finally, we have got the answer. We can see that our output has the company name. And uh, this is the founder name. And these are the counts of uh, lead manager, senior manager, count of managers, and count of employees. So yeah, let's meet in the next video then. Thank you.